Think about intervals. Think about intervals. Created by Jennifer Paula and Caroline Gallo. An interval is the distance in pitch between two notes. Intervals are counted from the lower note to the higher note. Intervals are named by the number of steps from note 1 to note 2. The different types of intervals are perfect, major, melodic, harmonic, minor, diminished, and augmented. A good way to determine if an interval is perfect or major is to refer to the perfect pants diagram. Perfect intervals are located inside the pants. These intervals are found 1, 4, 5, and 8 pitches from the root note. Major intervals are located outside the pants. These intervals are found 2, 3, 6, and 7 pitches from the root note. In the following examples, please assume that all scales are dealt with in the treble clef and using C major. Perfect intervals are 1, 4, 5, and 8 pitches from the root note. In this example, a perfect fourth is from E to A, and a perfect fifth is from F to C. Unison would be from C to C, D to D, E to E, and so on. And a perfect eighth or octave would be from low C to high C. Major intervals are 2, 3, 6, and 7 pitches from the root note. In this example, a major second is from C to D. A major third can be from C to E. A major sixth can be from D to B. And a major seventh, in this example, is from D to C. Melodic intervals can be any type of interval. However, they consist of notes sounded separately. Harmonic intervals can also be any type of interval. However, they consist of notes sounded at the same time. Minor intervals are when a major interval is decreased by half a step. Perfect intervals cannot be minor. This is an example of a major sixth. To make this major sixth a minor sixth, you take the top note, D, and decrease it by half a step, which then makes the D, D flat. You now have a minor sixth. Diminished intervals are when a perfect or minor interval is decreased by half a step. Sometimes you may have to use a double flat if the top note is already flat. This is an example of a perfect fourth. To make this perfect fourth a diminished fourth, you must take the top note, B, and decrease it by half a step, which then makes the B, B flat. You now have a diminished minor fourth, which is made up of F to B flat. A major interval is turned into a minor interval, which can then be turned into a diminished interval by once again decreasing the top note of the minor interval by half a step. In this example, A flat is turned into A double flat, which then gives us a diminished third, which is made up of F to A double flat. Augmented intervals are when a perfect or major interval is increased by half a step. Sometimes you may have to use a double sharp. In this example, a major third is turned into an augmented third by increasing the A by half a step to an A sharp. In this example, we have a perfect fourth. To turn it into an augmented interval, you again increase the top note by half a step, which in this example would be a B to a C. We now have an augmented fourth.